best first impression is for you to be confident. If you're confident in what you do and what you know and what you can bring to the table for a company, that speaks volumes about you and what you can do. You've worked hard to be here. It is not, not everyone gets to get to, uh, to be a junior or a sophomore in an engineering program. So be proud of where you are. You've worked hard. You can afford a little bit of confidence. Don't be nervous. All the students here are nervous just like you. So just focus on what you're doing and what your goal is. Yeah, don't be afraid to talk to people pretty much. I mean, that's the name of the game here. So my strategy is, and this is a piece of advice I'd give as well, is that choose two or three top priority companies that you really want to talk to and invest that time to stand in line to talk to them. I prepared by looking over the employer booklet that they handed out, to know who's coming, what they do. I'm hoping I can land a, an internship or a co-op for the spring or summer. An ideal candidate is someone who is not only knowledgeable in their field, but that they also have a hunger for, to learn more, to learn new things, and that they're willing to adapt to new opportunities and different situations. Not only are you someone with a high enough GPA, but are you balanced in other areas? And do you really venture out of your comfort zone to grow and make the groups and teams you're part of a little bit better? When we're planning the career fair, our hope is that students will really start to understand how to develop professionally. And so after this and talking with all the different employers and learning about all the different opportunities and putting a resume together and a cover letter, is that students will come out with opportunities. There's a reason why I come to the UH career fair every single semester. And I think it's because University of Houston students have that thirst. They want more. They're not only looking for a job, they're not only looking for a paycheck, they want something that will help them grow, both in their careers and as people. The biggest thing for our current engineering students is to go to eConnection. So we have our workshops on there, we have all of our companies listed for this fair today, what they're looking for, and giving you an opportunity to really research them, as well as reviewing your resumes, your cover letters, and anything else that you want to be able to do to grow professionally as an engineer.